How's it going, everybody here? Uh, so I've got another video coming out uh, tomorrow morning, but in the meantime, I've been wanting to share this replay with friends, and I figured I might as well do commentary over it just because I didn't get a video out today, and I thought this was really fun. So if you don't know, if you know me for Final Fantasy only, I am a very good Yu-Gi-Oh player as well. Um, I've climbed this year from... Uh, Literally rookie five all the way to master five in about a week today, or like playing this game. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I, I've had a lot of agreements with the master duel in the past, but the game feels still really good when it's good. Um, I did have a replay that I wanted to record and show people. So um, I'm just kind of talk people through. Uh, yeah, second video today is going to be up tomorrow. It's about uh, kind of. All the different TCGs I've played, what I like, what I don't like about them. Just kind of giving thoughts in general as like a, you know, YouTube. Basically just like something to listen to for 45 minutes. I feel people might, might, might enjoy that. And then I go back to like the normal content of covering Materia Cups and stuff. So I'm playing Rickus and Avalon and my opponent is on Tri-Brigade Sprite. And this is about as good an open as the Tri-Brigade Sprite player can get. So they get the carrot down. Here, they've got their Nimbles. We go into Gigantic. Um, Gigantic allows them to detach material, summon a level 2 from deck. They get blue. Blue gets Jet. And Jet gets Starter. So, we got a lot going on here, but my hand is very solid. I have the ability to play through a lot with this hand, as you're going to see. So, they're on a Tri Brigade build, which I haven't seen a lot of. For, tri or for Sprite, but actually ends up being a really cool combo. So we're still not locked into twos. We're going to go Elf. Uh, elf is going to allow us to reborn our kit. Oh, no, we are two locks. We use Gigantic. And you can see we're popping all the way off. Uh, Kit's going to summon uh, Farajit. Farajit summons Keras. We're going to go for Bear Brom, which is going to give us access to a Revolt. Uh, Farajit's going to draw us a card, put one on the bottom of the deck. Keras is going to summon double Dragon Lords, and we're going to link off for a Pit Knight early. And then Bear Bomb is going to add Revolts and put a card from our hand on the bottom of our deck. So we've gotten to kind of filter our hand a little bit. Set to pass. So right here, what this stack board represents, if you don't know, uh, people that haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh might kind of be, like be a little shocked to see to see this, but um, Elf represents a monster reborn on my turn. Uh, Masquerina represents a quick effect summon on my turn, uh, instant speed. Uh, Ancient Warrior's Oath, Double Dragon Lords, is a bounce by sending a card they control to the graveyard. They have a free card to send. Uh, Pit Knight early is a monster negate. Uh, Sprite Carrot is a spell trap negate. And then Revolt is going to allow them to, on my turn, summon a monster, get a quick effect, banish, and kind of shut me down entirely. I have a decent hand, but this is one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, to seven points of interaction that I have to play through. Uh, depending on what this back row actually is. So let's see how I end up playing through this. Draw a card, it's Petal. Petal is a really nice draw here. I'm going to start with Duster to force out the Carrot. And they're going to get a little greedy, and they're going to tribute the Mascarena as opposed to the Carrot. Um, they can bring it back with Elf, so they're not super worried about it. But that does basically cut them off of two of their interruptions. I'm going to go Princess, Normal Summon Petal. Uh, link the Princess off for my copy of Dry Ass. Um, Petal is going to search for a plant, or a Ricka card. This is going to lock me into plants. I do have the called by to cut off both the elf and the IP in one shot. Alright, so we're still doing good. We're still doing good. We've used our normal summon. We get our mood on. We do our mood on. We're going to tribute our dry ass. We're going to get our. Uh, mood on, and we're going to use this as a chance to summon our Primula from our hand. And we're going to get ourselves Rick at Con Con. 
uh, con con effect. We're gonna do this. This is where they're gonna actually smashers us, which is extremely frustrating. And so they're gonna banish the con con. So I don't even get the search here. And we're off into Dance Peon. Uh, Dance Peon is going to reveal the top three cards of our deck. We really need something good here, and we find it in Twin and Lily Boria. Uh, Lily Boria allows us to pitch this small world in hand, go get ourselves the Therion Disc Coliseum. Therion Disc Coliseum is going to get bounced back to our hand with Double Dragon Lords, and our opponent is effectively out of negation at this point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and insulate our place, make sure it goes through. We really need this Lily Boria, to, or this, uh, this Colosseum. Get our second Lily Boria. Lily Boria is going to equip the pedal to summon herself back to the field. And we're going to link summon again into a copy of Aroma Seraphie Jasmine. This is going to fetch the Revolt. So this is the last point of interaction that they're representing. This is the uh, Sure Egg. This is a non-targeting banish. <laughs> and here we go. We're going to go for the Lily Boria for a Lone Fire Blossom, Lone Fire Blossom off the Jasmine for Genus Loci, and we're going to go into our Sun Avalon engine now. Uh, Dry Ass is going to get us a Sewing. We can activate the Sewing to get ourselves a Genus Loci. Uh, we're going to go for Healer here. Healer is going to revive the Dry Ass. We're going to go for a Melios here. Reviving our Genus Loci. I wonder if I remember this, actually. I don't know if I... Did I use the Melios effect? I did not. Actually, I left some damage on the field, on the board here. Uh, we're going to link all of those into our Bengal Lancer, the Resurgent. And we're going to bounce the Shireg and take 3,000 damage for our troubles. And this is going to allow us to basically clear the entire field. I'm going to add back our Lily Boria for some follow-up. And we are just about... Uh, we've pretty much got this board entirely cleared. They can normal summon the kit, and as they do so, we can bounce it back to hand. Petal comes back in the end phase because we only control plants. And this represents the end of the game. Uh, just a little bit of BMing here. I don't necessarily have to do this. Uh, activate Con Con. Uh, Con Con allows us to tribute our opponent's monster as the cost. And then we can go to attack phase and clean up. Apparently, I'm going to summon one more monster before I do so. <laughs> so, yeah, that was uh, just a pretty fun Master Duel replay. I thought it was an interesting showcase of how cool Yu-Gi-Oh can be. I kind of like played through six or seven points of known interaction, which is when I think Yu-Gi-Oh is really at its best going second. It's when it's possible to do things like this. Um... A lot less fun sometimes when you get like maxi thrown on you on behind the board negation and have to like play through it. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in the next one.